Welcome to Tech Results with Amar. In this video, we are going to learn how to load the files from our blob storage to SQL. But we are not going to use copy activity like in Azure Data Factory and all that. We will be using a bulk insert in the SQL itself. So yeah, by using the bulk insert, you can copy your file from the blob storage to your on-premises SQL or from to the Azure VM, uh, Azure SQL as well. So in this case, I'm going to use the Azure uh, SQL DB and that's where we will be loading our files. So first of all, uh, the, uh, these steps we will be following and, uh, you know, going through that. Uh, to demonstrate this one, I need uh, a blob storage. So I'm right here on my portal and uh, right there I have a blob storage called the TechRes storage. Now on the TechRes storage I have a container such as a input container and then I have a output container. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to in the input container I'm going to go ahead and upload our file. So we've been using this file for a long time, it's called total sale and we will be using the same file. I'm going to go to the input and here I'll go to the total sale. And uh, now we loaded our file. So our file is here. Let's take a look on the data. So we have ID, sale person, first name, last name, and other uh, other columns. Uh, and this is a comma separated uh, values. Uh. So this is CSV file. Uh. The first step of uh, what we need here, we need the SAS token uh, for this uh, blob storage. Um, once uh, we are here, click on the storage here and then go to the shared access uh, signature. Uh. So this, this is going to be generating a uh, SAS uh, token. Uh. Now you can uh, provide some permissions here on container and objects and all that. Also you can define the time for which you would like to provide that permission uh, by using this uh, uh, token. Uh. In my case, I have uh, provided pretty much everything. Uh, so you can always find what you don't need it and uh, remove that. Uh, you don't want to give all the permissions to the uh, people or on uh, somebody who is going to use this uh, uh, reading the files. Or you, this can also lead to some uh, delete and all those kind of things. Uh. So just to give the permission, what is the required? Uh. So in this case, let's say delete is here as well. Uh. So I, I don't want to have a delete. So I'm just going to remove that. Uh. Now, what we will do here, we will generate SAS and connection string, and uh, that is going to generate SAS token. Uh. So that's the token that uh, we will be using uh, right there. Uh. Now, let's connect to the our uh, Azure SQL database in uh, our SSMS uh, that's installed on my local uh, machine. Uh. I'm going to go to connect here, database engine, uh, and here is my name for my Azure SQL database. Uh. So if you go back here and uh, take a look, uh, that's uh, where uh, I have this. Uh, database so th this is the name I copied so we go back to SSMS paste it there and then now we are gonna go and say is uh, SQL authentication and here I will be providing a TB user that's my username then I will be providing uh, my password after I provide my password I'm gonna go ahead and connect now it's going to ask me my username and password, so I'm going to provide my username here. After uh, providing uh, the login information, uh, I can go ahead and connect uh, to my uh, Azure SQL DB. Now I'm connected right there, and uh, here uh, I have uh, one database called the Tech Brothers. So right there, that's the Tech Brothers. And these are the steps uh, we need to follow. So I'm going to copy these uh, steps here and just paste it there. New query, and uh, then we will paste uh, our steps. Uh. The very first step you need uh, to read the data from a blob storage uh, by using bulk insert in the Azure uh, SQL, uh, you will be creating uh, a master key. So in this case, uh, I'm creating this master key with uh, this password. Um, you can provide any password, uh, that's a strong password. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, provide this password. Uh, you can see right there, it is uh, um, completed and uh, now let me make this a little big so we can see there. Actually, uh, let me make 100 is good. Okay, so we created a master key and next uh, our master key command has been succeeded. Now what we will be doing, uh, we will be creating credential. Uh, this credential will be used in the next uh, data source uh, when we create this uh, external data source. Uh, so here, uh, this is how you will be creating the credential. You will say create database uh, scope the credential and provide the name of the credential. Uh, so in this case, uh, let's say if I will say uh, blob C R E D credential. That's my credential name. Now this is gonna stay as it is with identity shared access signature. We are telling a user the shared access uh, signature. And now here in the secret, uh, we will be providing that uh, value that we generated. Uh, so I'm gonna just delete this part. This was for old uh, uh, demo, and I'm gonna go back to my blob storage here. And in the blob storage, I'm gonna go to the shared access engine, and here. Uh, 
uh, sorry, shared access signature. And here, uh, uh, if you remember, um, we did create it, but we did not save. So anyways, we can go ahead and recreate. And uh, this is going to be just fine. Now I'm going to just go for seven and delete, remove the delete part and here. So now we are going to go ahead and copy the token. Copy the token, go back here and uh, right there we are going to provide that. Um, so you see that there is a question mark here. You don't need that. Um, so just remove the question mark before the uh, SV. So this is good. Now we are creating credential called blob credential. Okay. And uh, this uh, got created as well and now what we are going to do we are going to create uh, an external data source uh, so here you will say create external data source and then provide the data source uh, name uh, with the type of blob storage and then location uh, so that's where you are going to provide your storage name and in this case uh, it's uh, this guy I copy and then now I go back here and just to replace with this here Rest of that blog, dot blob dot core dot windows dot net will stay as it is. So this is your blog, uh, storage account name, uh, and rest of everything is stay as it is. Uh. In the credential, remember we just created this credential on top by using SAS token. So we are going to use those credential to create this uh, external data source. Let's execute this uh, statement, and our credential, um, sorry, our data source is created as well. Uh. Next part is uh, we need to create some table in which we would like to load the data. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the table if it does exist, but it in this does not exist. So what we are doing here, we are creating a table, DB total sale, ID integer, salesperson, first name, worker, and some data types I choose according to the data available in the file. So I created this table, and now we can select the data from this table. There is no data as of now. So this looks fine, and this is the statement that we need to use to get the file and load into the table. So we are going to say bulk insert, then provide the table name in which we would like to load the data from, and here is our source file. So if you remember that, we have this blob storage here, and in the blob storage, we have container input. In the input, we have total sale.csv. So that's what it is. So input, this is our container name, and this is our file name that we want to read. And with the data source, if you remember, we just created a data source right there. That's the data source we are using here. So that's uh, what you are using. First row, starting from two. So that means ignore the header because we don't want to insert the header of values here in this table. So starting from row two. So ignore the first one. And uh, field delimiter means uh, it is a common delimited uh, field. So if you remember that, we have the file that is a comma delimited file. So each field is uh, separated by comma right there, okay? And uh, then uh, at the end, uh, what you have there uh, is a row delimiter. It's uh, just backslash n, uh, that means enter. So sometime, uh, uh, sorry, new line. Uh, sometime you have a, if you have enter, so you will say backslash r as well. Uh. So in my case, it's just a new line. Uh. So that's fine. Now what I can do, I can go ahead and uh, run this query together and it should read the data from my container and uh, sitting right there and uh, read that from file uh, and load to this uh, table. Let's go ahead and execute. Uh. It has a loaded uh, total uh, 11 rows and that's what we were expecting. And now we can go ahead and uh, just run our query. And we can see that data has been loaded from the blob storage to the Azure SQL database by using a bulk insert. We did not use any Azure Data Factory or any other ETL tool. So you can simply use bulk insert to load the files. Now you can create a store procedure, maybe have a list of the files and then just keep changing the file the name here and it will keep loading the data for you. Also you see here, I uh, when I created a data source, I created a data source all the way to the end of, uh, um, let me create another data source. And this time we are going to create our data source to the level of our container. So in this case, uh, uh, you can go ahead and create this data source uh, like this. Um, now you don't have, uh, this is on container level. So if I will go and uh, use a data set here, now I don't have to use the container here because my data set is already pointing to the container. So I can go ahead and insert some rows again. And now see there, it's just simply provided the file name, did not provide the container name at all because our data source is pointing to the container. I can go ahead and select the data now and we can see that there are 22 records. 11 were loaded from the last 
query when we executed the end, the 11s are loaded right now. So you can play with it in the if you wanna don't don't wanna go all the way credentials to the main uh, story level, you can always go to the container level and then uh, use uh, you know just file name here in the bulk insert. Uh. So I, what I will do, I will put all these steps in the description and uh, then you can take from there and experiment and learn. I thank you for watching videos and uh, learning and uh, go ahead and subscribe my channel if you guys like my effort and I will see you guys in the next video.